Hey everybody, it's Jerry Gonzalez here. Thank you for watching this video in which I will explain how to add picture in picture in Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas, the program Sony Vegas, the editing program for video. It's my favorite video editing program. Yes. Okay, but before I go on with this video, please check out just a couple links. First off, check out my Twitter account. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash comp help. Link will be in the description. Also, check out how to make some extra cash online like I do by checking out cashcrate.biz. Remember, all links will be in the description. You're good to go. All right, so let's get on with this uh, video. The first thing you need to do is, is, of course, create two different videos. All right, so we have our first video and our second video. Next, you want to open up Sony Vegas Pro. I use Sony Vegas Pro 9. No reason to upgrade. I think there's a 10. Maybe there's an 11. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, make sure you either go to File, Import, Media, or you can just... Uh, grab your video files and drag it in. Great. So now we have our video our video files in our clip bin. And what we have to do is actually go ahead and add these clips onto our timeline. Okay. So what you can either do is double click the video or you can just drag it in. Okay. Now think of the timeline right here, kind of like paper. Okay. This video is our top stack, but I'm going to go ahead and drag it down. And this is our second sheet of paper that's under the first video. Okay. A little confusing, I know, but check it out. So here's another little test video. I'm gonna lower the volume really quick. Okay, actually, I'm gonna lower the volume on my computer. I'm gonna play it, and I'm like, test, 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 all right, and video right here. That point, that's where I want my video to come in. So what I do is I grab my second video, and I drag it on the, right here, okay? So you see right there, I can lock it in to uh, that little bar, great. That's where we are in time, and check it out. Now, this video, like I said, this is the top stack, top piece of paper, bottom piece of paper, top video, bottom video. Um, and as you can see, it is way too big. If you look at my little preview, my video preview, you'll see that the bottom video is not even playing right now because the top video is just too huge. So how do I fix that, Jerry? How do I make it so this top video does not take up the whole scene? Well, here's what we're going to do. Go to this icon over here, which track motion. Great. And actually what I want to do is, I think it's this one. No, it's not that one. Uh, which one is it? It's right here. Yeah, lock aspect. Yeah, okay. So lock the aspect ratio. I already had it selected. Confused me. So this way your video doesn't get all funky in size. Okay, I'm gonna go control Z. So lock that in, that way, see how it keeps its size? Great. Now look in the video preview. Look at that, magic, right? I'm editing the video size right there in real time. Just go ahead, no, I want, it, I want it about that big. Okay, you can go ahead and drag it down. Great, so I think that's a pretty good size, or at least it's a good size for a test video, All right? Great, so I can go and exit this out now, and check it out when I play my video. Now one video is playing inside of another video. Pretty cool, I think so, All right? See that, cool. Yes, that is me, acting like a dork. Oh, look at that. My face kind of like collides with that video. Of course, if you were uh, better than me at editing videos and stuff, <laughs> you would most likely not do that. I think this is where I cut the video. And well, as you see, if I cut the video, the top video is still playing. It's on a black screen. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, just mess around with this. What you can also do is have multiple, video multiple videos. So I'm going to go ahead and make this even smaller. Okay, just to mess around. I'll show you guys what's what. And I'm going to go ahead and add another video track. And I'm going to pop in another video right here. Great. This one is also very huge. Make it smaller. Okay. Where am I in time? Not at the end of the video in time. There we go. Make it smaller. And you, as you can see right there, we can add multiple videos in one video. All right. So if I press play, yeah, I feel like a dork. Boom. And... Boom, except that the other video kind of just, you know, comes in. All right, see that? Now, let's say you're like, all right, that's kind of harsh. I don't want uh, I don't want my video to come in so, you know, so all of a sudden, just all of a sudden, boom, I don't want it to be like that. All right, well, let's go ahead and fix that. We'll add a fade. Let me make this bigger just for whatever. So let's go ahead and add a something called a transition. We're going to go over here to the transitions, okay? And I want, I like adding the gradients, the gradient wipes. And for, I'm gonna add the nebulous. Just hold, click and hold, drag, and drop it to the front of this video. Boom. 
See that little square right there? Yes, let's go to video preview and we'll play this video. And now you'll see in the video preview, whoa, okay, I guess it didn't want to add the gradient. What happened? That should work, it should be working, but it's not, obviously. Huh. I think it's just in the uh, video preview, it's not working. I don't know, it should be working. I did it like two seconds ago as a test run and it worked fine, this is what I use. But yeah, that's all you really have to do. You just drag this over and uh, you create yourself like a, there we go. See how it, see how like a gradient's in? I did the same thing here. Don't know why it's not working on the preview, right? But that's all it does, it just adds a gradient like that. I don't know, that picture in picture is all screwed up or something. But there you go, that's how you go ahead and add picture in picture in Sony Vegas. It's very simple. Um, I don't know, I think it's one of those awesome effects that you can really add to your videos and make it look a little bit more professional. For instance, uh, I think, who is it? Um, what the Buck, he uses, uh, no, I don't know if he uses picture in picture, but you can also do this with like pictures, with stills, video, um, picture stills, you know, just instead of dragging a video, just drag a picture and extend it, you know, by going like this. Oh, that is why, because there's a second video. That's weird, good thing I did that. Boom. There we go. Now it should work. Woohoo! There we go. See that? Okay. I don't know why there was a second video there, but anyways, yeah, just add a uh, picture instead of a video and you're good to go. Now I am just rambling on for no reason, so I'm going to stop talking. Thank you for watching this video. Please r thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Uh, remember, check out the links, twitter.com slash comphelp and cashcrate.biz. Thank you so much. Sorry for taking so much of your time. Thanks. Bye.